Beep, beep. What is up, guys? My name is Sam World, and today I wanted to talk about a trap most music producers are falling into. And I'm not talking about the genre, you know, trap hands are like, it's lit. I'm talking about something that we all strive to have in our music, but sadly, it's holding us back. It makes us overthink, makes us take six months to finish a song just because you can't get the lead right or the bass right. It makes us hear the loop over and over again and never finish and arrange the song out. And that is going to be quality. Quality, while it might be great and we definitely want it in our music, is very dangerous when done wrong. And what I find most people do, most producers, is they like to go on YouTube and learn as much as they can before they even get into making music at a constant rate. A lot of us learn a lot on YouTube. We go into a song and we overthink everything. The chord progression, should we do an inversion? Should we do lead voicing? Is this right? Da Vici didn't do it this way. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of noise. And this is a trap most people fall into. Now, depending where you're at in your music production journey, I feel like quantity can definitely benefit anyone. First off, if you're starting out making music, the more you do it, the better you get at it. It's better to make as much shitty music as you possibly can than fret over that one song trying to make it sound as high quality as you think you can. The person that made 100 songs has been practicing how to arrange, how to mix, how to master, how to make breakdowns, how to make melodies, how to transition, while you have been fretting over how to mix a bass, how to mix the lead, and that's it. You haven't practiced arrangement. You haven't developed these skills that comes into creating music besides that last 10% that most people feel like they get stuck on. Another good example of this, guys, is a music producer that has it all figured out. Good music, good mixing, some good ideas here and there. Should he focus on releasing one song a year or should he focus on releasing as much music as possible to develop a fan base? Well, obviously, the more you release, the higher chances you have of your songs becoming hits or virals, one of them, as well as retaining more followers. People are going to remember you more because you're not just releasing one song a year and fretting over making it super perfect. Now, I was recently watching this YouTube video where a study was presented where researchers went back in time and looked at some of the great composers from back in the day like Mozart, Beethoven. They got a five-year time span, and in that five-year time span, they looked at the amount of volume, the amount of work they actually released. And what they found was that the composers that released the most amount of work were actually the ones that got a lot better and had a higher success. They had more hits, as you could say. And the reason for this, guys, again, it's all going to come down to the fact that the more you do something, the better you get at it. The more you do something, quality will come with that as you get better. You have to fail 100 times before you become good at anything. And finally, guys, to end this video, you definitely need to have a balance of quantity and quality for sure. But if you're working on a song and you're stuck on it for three months already, just finish it. Just finish it to your best of your ability, wait a week or two, come back and listen to it, see where you can improve, and then next song you work on, work on that. The more you do this, the better you're going to get, and the more music you're going to end up releasing. You don't want to get stuck in that perfectionist world, because at the end of the day, music is very subjective. Let's say I think a kick and bass sound really good together. I can guarantee you I can find someone out there that's probably going to talk shit on it, say that it's bad. And this happens with everyone. You hear music that's been released on these big labels, and you always have people criticizing it. But that's the beauty of music. There's no such thing as perfection. It's all about being subjective. As long as your music has good ideas, good melodies, it's audible, it's in key, and it has a decent mix down that hits, and it's and it's audible, it's not hard to listen to, I think you'll do fine. You'll be fine with the song. With that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. As always, if you want to support my channel, you can head over to evilsounds.com. If you have anything to say to add to the video, you can leave it down in the comments below. But at the end of the day, I just wanted to say this because I find a lot of people, including myself, sometimes think, sometimes we tend to overthink stuff that we shouldn't be overthinking. Sometimes we just need to keep doing and not let quality take over. Of course, it's good to have it, but control it, have a little bit of a balance, and most importantly, have fun making music, which is why we all started.